Unexpected is probably the best way to describe this. I got an email from the Escobar company yesterday, normal day at the office, and the email wasn't, we're thinking about sending you this new device, are you interested? It was, our new phone is scheduled for delivery to you tomorrow. I won't lie to you, quite a few things were going through my head. The first thought was, Escobar made a phone, did they? And then that quickly changed to concern. Is this actually a phone they're sending or should I get my protective gear on? So anyways, I was kind of relieved when I saw that Marquez, MKBHD, he'd had a pretty similar email. So we decided to link up on this one. We wanted to make sure we send a very clear, consistent message that Escobar has launched a new phone. Don't buy it. Okay. You might already be familiar with that whole Escobar Fold saga. About six months ago, the company announced this supposedly revolutionary smartphone. They made claims that this was the end for Samsung. They made flashy trailers, a little bit too flashy for me to show you here, and they even made a website called ripsamsung.com. So you would think at this stage, wow, this is amazing. What could it possibly be? It was a Samsung phone. The Escobar Fold was just a Samsung Galaxy Fold with Escobar stickers on it. And more importantly, most of the people who bought the phone didn't get the phone, but they did get something. It seems like every person who ordered an Escobar Fold got sent a book. It is the strangest biography I think I've ever seen. And when I first saw it, I couldn't understand why they bothered sending anything. If you're going to take the money and not deliver a phone, I don't think a nice read is gonna make up for it. But now that I've had time to mull it over, the only thing that makes sense to me is that this book was a decoy. That they did this so that when customers called their banks up to say, my phone hasn't arrived, please get my money back, Escobar could actually say like, no look, check the tracking number, we did deliver something. Plus, I think there's another layer to this. These books would serve as a really clever way to extend the scam period. It would make existing customers hold off on complaining online and maybe even give them reassurance that their product is in fact on the way. It buys Escobar time so that as many people as possible will go on and order their phones before it eventually becomes public that it's a scam. And this wouldn't be the first time the company's pulled a stunt like that. Do you remember when Elon Musk came out with a flamethrower for $500? Yeah, well, almost immediately, Escobar started selling an identical looking flame shooter for $249. But instead of actually sending it, they just sent out certificates of ownership. As if to say, don't worry, it's yours. You just can't use it or have it. And it's actually because of this that PayPal stopped working with them, apparently. Too many people were calling them up asking to get their money back. Anyways, the people who bought these Escobar Fold phones, they were angry, understandably. There's an entire Facebook community filled with peed off customers who've ordered a phone, but only got this glorified pamphlet to show for it. And there's one guy who's taken it further. He's gone and made a full blown website, escobarscam.com. And then to top the whole thing off, Samsung got involved with a lawsuit, which they won. I'm not hugely surprised. But all of that just makes this all the more confusing. You would think after that entire saga, the Escobar company would be like, okay guys, we tried, it didn't work, people aren't happy, let's do something else now. But no, this is the Escobar Gold 11 Pro, and it's another phone. And on top of that, quite possibly the strangest product launch I've seen in my entire life. Why does the official website actively promote the fact that they're associated with a deceased drug lord? Is that meant to be a selling point? Why does it brag about its co-founder being the chief of assassinations? Why is there not a single photo or video of the phone where it's not being used by European models wearing barely any clothes? It's not your typical smartphone shopping experience. You put it that way. It's like a proper solid wooden box. Why did I do that? And of course, it opens with a button. This is like every Escobar cliche rolled into one. Okay. Two thousand years later. Oh no. Okay, we'll get to that. We've got designed by Apple up top, and below that are just what looks like Apple's normal accessories. So lightning cable, got a charging brick, got a pair of earphones, and a condition report. 
Maybe the most surprising thing here though, is that yes, this iPhone is $499 on the Escobar site. It is apparently gold plated and they actually delivered it to me. What is the business model here? How does this even make sense? Well, on first impression, this seems like the brand of the people. It's very much taking the angle that these big companies, the Apples, the Samsungs, they're the problem, they're the villains, but don't worry, Escobar is here, we're gonna fight for you. It also seems like maybe Escobar is cashing in on the popularity of the Narcos TV series, which features the Escobar name. But when we then saw that they were pricing their phones below cost, we thought, wait a second, no matter how much you care about the people, no proper business can function unless it makes a profit. So then you start to think, is this a money laundering scheme? The idea of using dirty money, money acquired from criminal activity, to set up a scheme or business that brings in clean money, which can then be used for legitimate purchases. But this doesn't make sense either, because if you actually wanted to generate clean money, you've still got to actually ship customers the products, which Escobar so far hasn't done. Otherwise, you're just turning dirty money into more dirty money because you're still creating it from criminal activity. Yes, I have the phone here. They sent it to me. They sent it to Marquez because maybe they think we'll say nice things about it, but they won't ship it to people who buy it. I don't think this is money laundering. I just think it's a scam. That would explain why there's no secure payment methods on the site. It would explain why the comment sections are turned off for their YouTube videos. It would explain why they didn't even bother charging shipping on their phone, no matter where in the world you wanted it. There was absolutely no intention of sending the phone in the first place. Okay, we're now one day later, and this document, this condition report, it reinforces the entire point I wanna make, that this whole thing, this Gold 11 Pro, is a complete repeat of the Escobar Fold Saga, only this time it's more elaborate. They've got a promotional video that starts with, and I quote, Welcome home, Apple boys, Steve and Tim. Let's cook. And the whole video is just these girls finding increasingly inventive ways to bake an iPhone. You probably caught it yourself. In the exact same way we had RIP Samsung a few months ago, we've now got RIP Apple. But the difference is this. With this phone, they're being much subtler about it. They're telling a story that almost makes sense. Have a look at the sheet. It basically shows the condition that the Escobar company supposedly bought the phone in. So mine says it was previously water damaged. I asked Marquez, his phone had water damage and cable damage. So the story they're trying to tell you is, okay, look, we bought the phones cheap because they were previously damaged. But now that we fixed them, we can afford to sell them to you for cheap. And it's a story you almost want to believe. And it's done so elaborately, it might even be true. It might even be the case that yes, this phone was water damaged and they fixed it. And it might even be the case that they can do all that whilst delivering it for under $499. It's plausible, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't change the fact that this is the same company that made an Escobar Fold 1, nobody got it. They created an Escobar Fold 2, nobody got it. So it doesn't matter what the story is. It doesn't matter whether it's technically possible to be able to do all this for under $499. The fact is that if you order it, all evidence points to the fact that you're probably not gonna receive it. So again, don't buy it. But let's just say you did, and let's say by some miracle it arrived. This is what they say about it. The Pablo Escobar Gold 11 Pro works just like a normal iPhone. The difference is in the 24 karat gold. So yes, it does work just like an iPhone. It is an iPhone. But if I pick up a normal iPhone 11 Pro here, it feels smooth and seamless and dense. But this just feels cheap. You can feel this noticeable seam between the sides and the back. And uh, I think it's finally time to find out why. It's definitely coming off. Oh dear, <laughs> that came off a little too easily. It's metal and they have obviously replaced the actual back plate of the phone. It's not like they've just stuck a sticker on top of it. I mean, look, it's already off. We might as well finish the job. Okay, I mean, it's an iPhone, but the way it's put together, it feels like one of those ultra cheap wish.com phones. Just be wary, just be careful. I'm sure people will buy it, but as far as mine and Marquez's recommendation goes, don't buy it. And that's the Escobar Gold 11 Pro. Thanks for watching.